This is well, amazing. good late morning, everybody. Blue skies as ever. This is uh, kind of the the minor aftermath because we have another snowstorm coming. Um, it is February 26, 2023 in Big Bear, California. If you guys like what we're doing, please like and subscribe. We would really appreciate it. Thank you. This is going to be a beautiful drive. We're going to um, basically, <clears throat> this is going to be the whole, whole town for the most part. We're going to drive around the lake, go up to Baldwin. A lot of people wanted us to go up to Baldwin. Um, yeah, we're going to do what we can today. But this is, this is amazing. I've, I've never seen so much snow here. Not saying that this is the most they've ever seen here. It's just I've only been here for eight years. <clears throat> But what we're gonna do so we, so we can avoid these main roads is we're gonna turn right here. Because this is gonna be a long video, but it's gonna be a very beautiful video. So we don't wanna deal, oh, this guy's doing the same thing. We'll just do it anyway. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful this is. It is so beautiful. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. This is, this is when I love Big Bear, when the snows fall, it's all over Big Bear and the sun is out. It's the best, most beautiful time. I'm so happy today. I'm so excited. And this is also this a good day gorgeous. to get snow blind. <laughs> yeah, true. So you gotta be super careful. As as a little kid, I took that like extra seriously. I, I got, like I was always really, really scared that if I looked at the snow while it was sunny that I'd go blind, <laughs> even for a second. But you can go snow blind. like looking at the sun. <clears throat> this is so pretty. I mean, I'm just blown away. You got it, bro. So we're gonna do an Upper Moon Ridge quick Villa Grove drive too awesome. to see the aftermath. I think that's gonna be beautiful. Um, it's off the Villa Grove. It's, if, if it's there, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm just really curious because her house is like down below. Oh, okay. So I wanna see like yeah. how she, her house looks buried. Look at that house, oh my gosh. Well, oh yeah, these houses over here are just smashed. And if this is this bad down here, you guys, imagine what it's gonna be up in Upper Moon Ridge. I'm really excited to see. How's it going, my friend? It's gonna be about 1.30 until the snow plow comes to get us out. But yes, I'll be able to. Look at all this snow, guys. Look at this. Look at the dogs in their jackets. How cute. Oh my gosh, look at this snow. This is awesome. Guys, this is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in Big Bear. Just ever. Just ever. And then the cool thing is, is once our temperatures rise, you guys, these trees are gonna start letting this snow down and it's gonna create like small, small little like white out conditions for five seconds right in front of these these trees, it's really, really pretty. But I can't believe how much snow there is. This is incredible. And sorry about the live feed going out, guys. I don't know what happened. And I tried to set it up again just now, but it, it, it wouldn't let me. It would not let me. No idea why. That car just pops out of nowhere right there. Yeah, that house got smashed. This one over here is buried. Uh, the completely front buried. Okay, we beat the snow plow. Good. That was the point of doing that. All those people with the snow on top of their hoods, when they break on a downhill, all that snow is going to slam into their windshield. So funny when that happens. On the roof? Yeah, the first time that happened to me and my cousin, we were like, ah! Yeah, well, it's the law. You're supposed to wipe that off the oh, car. Oh, really? Or you can get it I always wipe mine off because I don't want that to happen. 
<clears throat> okay guys it's 27 degrees let's go to uh this horrible map it's not the best i know you guys can't can't really see it but we're right there there's bear mountain golf course 27 degrees i finally got some decent sleep but when i woke up i was in a panic because um the live feed was off and then i tried to turn it back on and it wouldn't let me turn it back on it's the same problem I went through the other day when I tried doing a live feed of the uh, of our drive. We were only we were only able to do one live feed of our drive. Oh my gosh, this is crazy! Look how much snow they have. And we got so many watchers when we did that live feed of the drive. Yeah, we had like 350 people watching live. That was super cool. Ne never imagine I can see. I just was worried because her dog would. Like, like you, if you want to run, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Buried up to the houses. This is crazy. You can't even see some of the houses. Look at these snowmen over here. <clears throat> that guy's snow went three quarters up up his front door. Look at everybody in their cars smiling. This is something special you guys this is something special i don't know how people i i, I mean guys i'm i'm hoping this has a huge impact on our lake a lot of people think this is going to fill up the lake i'm a little bit more pessimistic thinking maybe we'll gain a, another foot of lake but that's it only reason is because we've had other storms this season that have had way more precipitation like a ton of rain a ton of rain where if it would have been snow it would have been twice as much snow as we have here wow okay we're coming up to the beautiful bear mountain oh this is so epic baby wow these people skiing are having so much fun we're not going to be able to see the ski resort though because of these huge snow berms here. Look it, you can't see anything there. Just for a little second, we'll be able to see right here. So that's it. We're not gonna get much else, much other views to see here. Wow, that is spectacular. If you guys don't want to go skiing or pay for it, there you go. Just just, <laughs> just come ski on this, this snow burn right here. All right, guys. So we're making our way around the whole the whole town, basically. We are going to head over to... Uh, um, obviously, they let people up. So the roads must be open. But yeah, look at how fresh and beautiful that snow is. It's so pretty. And then the... Uh, and it's cool because we don't have to use the windshield wipers for this drive and everything's just going to be so beautiful and peaceful. Look at this. So our next stop, you guys, is Upper Moon Ridge. That's our next stop. I hope we stay below freezing for this whole drive. We're supposed to. <clears throat> But I wanted to do this at like six in the morning. And my couldn't hear hear my alarm. Which really bothers me. Here's our golf course. You can't really see much, but that's our golf course. Look at this beautiful, beautiful. It's just so much snow, you guys. We're gonna turn right on Sheephorn and catch Villa Grove up that way. So this is sheep horn right here. <laughs> hey, look at this. Of course.
course I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. I love you. And this is why I, I moved up here because this this takes away all my depression. Just being in the snow like this is just unbelievable. <clears throat> Ever since I was a little tiny kid, this is what this is how it would always work for me. Being being in the snow made me feel so good. So so we are headed up in elevation slowly but surely right now but you'll start to see a lot more snow this is great i kind of feel bad for a lot of people who are like hey let's go to our vacation home because they're gonna have to do a lot of plowing oh yeah and there's gonna be a lot of people up here making a ton of money which i'm so happy to hear um because we, you know, we've had a wet season, but for like snowfall, it hasn't been really that that much each storm to require the snowplow folks to get hired. Usually it's six inches of snow or more, then they have a job. This year we've had so many like three to four inch snowstorms. Oh, oh yeah. This is great. Guys, we're on a very steep grade right now. Through the camera, you can't tell, but this is really steep. And then this left turn here can be a pain in the butt, like a big pain in the butt. Here we go, let's do this. And we made it. We're gonna be going down a very scary part though. We're gonna be going down Butte. Thank you, buddy. That was nice of him. He got way over. Okay, so we are in Upper Moon Ridge now, you guys. <clears throat> oh, that whole wall almost got eaten up. Guys, this is something special. This is absolutely amazing. Once again, it's February 26th, 2023. Hit that like and subscribe button, you guys. Busted my tail for this storm. Put myself in a lot of danger. That would really help me out to get beautiful big bear seen all over the world. Yeah. This has got to be an unbelievable experience for these children up here. These kids up, up, up here visiting. Awesome. This is just awesome. We're gonna turn right here. Oh, we got a dry suit here. This is so beautiful. I, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> it really is that beautiful. It's really gorgeous. All right, guys. So we are on Luna. Bad dog. And then uh, here we go. We're on Villa Grove now. We're about to see some massive snow. Look at that. Up to the freaking, oh my gosh. This is, this is real snow. Finally, Big Bear gets like a real snowstorm. Instead of all these little wussy snowstorms. If we were another 2,000 feet up in, in elevation, like most of Mammoth is, then we'd get snowstorms like this all the time. All the time. But most of our big storms come with that sub subtropical jet stream, which has a lot warmer air in it. And we're just like, just below the snow line. So we get a lot of rain first. And then once that cold front moves through and that wraparound moisture comes through, that's when we get snow. So we'll get snow almost every storm, but it, our big storms typically starts out as rain. Oh my gosh, look at that, that garage. I mean, how, how are they going to get into their driveway? Oh my God, that's crazy. And people probably didn't take it seriously because the weather forecasting up here is just so off. They do their best, obviously. Like I'd probably forecast the exact same things because of the information they see. But yeah, this is, this is crazy. Like, yeah, snow? no, they're like, how do I get in the car? <laughs> <laughs> the snow burns were way too. Oh man. 
That's life right there with, after the snow. Yep. Oh, look, he's using his sled to scoop. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of bummed that we didn't get up here sooner because the uh, we don't want these uh, we didn't want these roads to be melted or at least I didn't because driving when it's just white constantly is just so beautiful thanks baby Here comes a sharp right turn. This one always gets me because it just keeps going and keeps going. And here we go. Just blah. This side of the mountain here gets more snow. Right when we make that turn right there, you'll see. Or this side of this big hill to the right. So happy because I really do hope that this does do well for our lake. I'm hoping it does better than I thought, but the snow was so so dry and it was so cold when we got most of the snow that it didn't it didn't take that much precipitation to do this. Like in the really cold places in the Rockies and areas like that where it's cold and dry. They could squeeze out a couple feet of snow just from one inch of rain. So that's my only concern. But no matter what, it's gonna have some impact. So that's that's a good thing. You know what, I am gonna call this the aftermath video because it is, there's not a cloud in the sky. It's so gorgeous today. Like it is shockingly pretty. The blue sky you can see. Oh yeah, it's, it's ridiculously beautiful. Don't like this guy at all. Just a little history, but his older brother, Lucas Duda, played for the New York Yankees, I think, and the New York Mets. Oh. Yeah. And they look identical, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I have a problem with him. Look at all this snow, guys. I know those of you in Mammoth are like saying, that's a dusting. What are you so like, so excited about? <clears throat> this, that's like our smallest snowstorm of the year. But for us, this is like the biggest one in a long, long, long time. Okay, so Villa Grove, now we are on um, La Crescenta and we're gonna take this until we get to Wolf. Okay, look at now this is a lot of this poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like where is he? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping the main roads are not full of traffic, you guys, so we can get through this video.
these snow berms are taller than the car, you guys. I mean, it's there. Oh, there's a car right there. They're just taller than the car. It'd be cool to like do a drive all the way down the mountain and all the way back up too. What day is today? Is today Sunday? I think so. Oh, you know what? Depending on the traffic, on, well, no, there's gonna be a lot of traffic today. Way too much traffic today. So guys, welcome to the oh, the Arctic Circle. I mean, Big Bear. Look at these snow berms over here. Look, it's there. Show that house. Look at that house. Okay, this is Wolf Street. The straight ahead is uh, Bear Mountain, beyond this house. We're gonna turn right on Wolf, and we're gonna come out back to Villa Grove and then turn left and head out back down to Butte. We already passed this person walking on Villa Grove. And then we're gonna go to Sugarloaf after this, you guys. What we're probably gonna do is just, uh, I don't know, we'll take all the main streets so you guys can, can see. Because most of you are used to driving the main road, so I want you to see what it looks like when you come up here. Where is it though? You gotta let me know because. I'm trying to stay kind of in the Big Bear Lake area today. Just don't wanna deal with everything going on. And it's Sunday, my day off. It's Sunday, my day off typically, but we can figure it out. This aftermath video couldn't have happened on a better day. My day off, or the, I always work on Sunday anyway, but. Okay. Okay guys, this is one of the scariest roads to go down in these conditions. So I'm a little bit nervous because it's there's still ice and snow on it, unlike on top of the Villa Grove. But I think we're gonna be okay. Once we get to this dry patch up here, we'll be good. But it's a lot steeper than it looks, you guys. ago standing right here oh my gosh. they were just standing in the street looking away just uh just clueless and i'm sliding like down right into them and oh my gosh i was so upset i was so upset because i didn't want to hurt anybody 
and uh as i said in these conditions especially if you're at the bottom of a very steep hill you've got to you got to pay attention because your life is in jeopardy these these conditions look so beautiful but they're so dangerous did you see her house no, you have to turn. oh oh left mm -hmm. on uh like sheep horn or, mm -hmm. or, or this no it's butte still it's butte. just I just really wanted to see how buried her house looked. Because hers is one of those ones that's like, it, you know, you Down. downstairs. Yeah. So her house fills up like it looks 10 times worse than what it really is. I was going to turn left here, but you got folks stopped in the middle of the street. Yeah, we'll have a lot of people driving with their flashers on today, which is cool, I guess. Saying, we're going to be driving really slow today. <clears throat> the first One of the first times that I ever learned how to drive was on right here. Yeah, on the I, snow, right? Yeah, yeah, in the snow. Yeah. And um, I remember calling my coworker and saying, I'm on Butte. I'm coming down the hill. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Help me. And I was crying and it was this part right here. It was full of snow and it looks so much more steeper than what it does now, but it's, it is steep. Is it? But I was so scared and screaming on the phone. <laughs> they got mad at me and they're like, stop screaming. I can't help you. <laughs> I was in such a panic. Looks but, like there's a, a car spin out right here. Yeah, babe, this would be a freaking panic. Yeah, but after that, that's when I um, had somebody at work show me how to drive in the snow. You gotta slow down because I don't want to start sliding in, into the back of this guy. You always want to try and stay at the top of these little hills when there's a little bit of traffic because you could lose. See, it says vehicle ahead has moved telling me to pay attention to start driving. Hey, what is this guy? This guy's not with the stop sign. No, he's... <laughs> That's going to be Big Bear today, baby. <laughs> All day. Thank goodness it's my day off. This is the only thing I was dreading about doing the Aftermath video, is uh, doing this. Dealing with... Oh no, and he's just stopped there for fensies. He's not stopped there to be waiting for... I don't know if it's for fun, babe. I think he's he's like, or maybe if he is, not cool. But because we need traffic to flow at this point. This is so incredible. So right now we're entering a neighborhood called Fox Farm. It really is something else up here. Cute houses up here. Over here to the right, two of my favorite houses in the whole town. They're like twin houses. Let me uh, crack the window just so I can get a good view. Temperature's 31 degrees now. We are on McAllister Road. Sorry, baby. These are the two houses I, I was talking about. I love these two houses right here a lot. And the next one. They're basically like twins. It's a whole neighborhood when you go up that way. Yeah, crazy, huh? On apple tree here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful homes. Beautiful homes back in there. Mm-hmm. Beautiful homes all around right here. Hundred percent. Really pretty places. I'm telling you though, this blue sky is just blowing my mind. It is so special. Oh, these guys snow all the way up to their windows down here.
beautiful blankets of fresh snow everywhere. It is something else. But I'm interested for you guys to see what I've coined as the Big Bear Snow Rule, which means one side of town will always get significantly more snow, and it's only like a seven and a half, eight mile difference. Same altitude, same everything. Just seven and a half miles from the Big Bear Dam. I'll bet from this three to four feet of snow we got up here that they have probably three to five inches. That's it. That's, that's all I think they got. We shall see those soon enough. We're going to take the Sugarloaf tour real quickly. We're going to go down. Um, what's that? Not Baldwin, but um, I forget. But there's a... We're going to go the whole length of Sugarloaf and then head back. I always forget the name of that road. But you know what, guys? Because of the traffic I'm seeing, we are going to take the back streets to get as far as we can down towards uh, Sugarloaf. When you see that much snow on those hills up there, then you know we got a major dumping. Because a lot of times we'll have a lot of snow over here and there won't hardly be anything on those hills just on the other side of the lake. Because that's the desert side of our mountain range and the desert is just on the other side there. That dry air just destroys these storms coming through. I'll, I was telling you guys, when you watch the weather radars like on the news forecasts when we get any weather up here take a look at it you'll see that all the storms rip up and and totally break apart right as they cross big bear and then you'll see it from being dark green and red to nothing and then about 100 miles east or less about 70 miles east it'll start up again pretty amazing how the desert does that You know what, I need to just relax because I'm, I'm like stressing out about work. So this is gonna be a long video. So we're, going, we're, we're taking Sugarloaf Boulevard. This is the shortcut, folks, to get all the way down to Paradise. You gotta make a couple turns, but this takes you all the way to Paradise. Even though the whole town is Paradise right now. So this is Big Bear City. There's Big Bear Lake and Big Bear City. We're in Big Bear City now. Big Bear Lake gets more snow typically. I mean, those snow berms in freaking Upper Moon Ridge were twice this size, huh, babe? Yeah. It's only like a three to 500 foot, or three, three to 400 foot difference up there in elevation. But they are on the mountain, and the mountains tend to uh, take the brunt of the storms because of all the lift that's caused from the storms hitting one side of them and then being forced straight up and then it condenses even more and dumps right there. Hmm. You're, you, should, you should see your old place. I saw it yesterday, babe. That driveway, I felt so bad for the guy because he was shoveling, it was so deep. Yeah, did he park all the way in the front, like all the way yeah. to the front of the house? Yep. <laughs> I learned my lesson on that the first year. I was like, never again will I park all the way at the door. There's Big Bear Boulevard running parallel to it up there. in the world right now for us oh my seat's getting a little warm yeah you don't want to mess with with those guys in the snow plows they'll win every time 
But one cool thing that I, I learned about snow plows is, let's say we do have a big snowstorm and your car is parked and they can't see it. If, if your car is parked in a proper place, like where there aren't any of those uh, uh, snow sticks to show the snow plow where to plow and they hit you, Caltrans will buy you a brand new vehicle. Okay, here's my wife's old house right here. Wait till you see the, the driveway, babe. Oh, he, he, he got himself out. So you can barely see that blue Subaru right there, but he got himself out. That's, that's my wife's old house right there. Kind of sad, huh? Here's her mailbox. <laughs> special place when it snows. And I think we're gonna, if Maple's open, we're gonna take Maple up, but then go down Baldwin. Never wanna go down Maple. Hey, what's up, my bro? I'm actually doing the aftermath video for the channel. It's probably going to be another, at least an hour. All right, guys. So when you get to Aeroplane, instead of going all the way up to Big Bear Boulevard, you want to turn right on Aeroplane. And continue on your shortcut. As you can see, there's nobody on this road. We'll be avoiding a lot of traffic, I'm, I'm certain. The live stream shut off for some reason. I don't know why. And I couldn't get it back on. I thought this would be so beautiful for, for people just to tune in for two minutes just to see. But I'll be starting another one on the next storm, hopefully. Chuck says, I still have that set of clubs for Rachel. Probably should get her house when, out when the cor course opens. That's cool, huh, babe? We'll get you a cute outfit for golfing. You'll be the, the sexiest one out there for sure. Direction to go into, they're all confused. No, no. It, well, it, uh, I, I, I think they probably attacked the thing. Yeah, because they're brown. Yeah, yeah, yes. I think Theo, not Luna. Luna wouldn't do that. Great place. But Theo definitely would.
Okay, and now we're on Paradise. Airplane turns into Paradise right here. And then now we'll go to Big Bear Boulevard. Thankfully, the temperature went back down to 30. I like that. As I said, I want this whole drive to be below freezing so we can have as, as, as much white streets as possible. Well, I don't think there's anyone who got let up yet, babe. Maybe. Well, they'd all be on that, the other side of town, on the Big Bear Lake side of town because of the uh, all the resorts. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I, I love driving on this, it's just so pretty. But yeah, we've had like a rat living in our walls. And uh, yeah, long story short, I he, he got in through a, a little hole in the bathroom um, in into the house, but just in the bathroom um, last night for the first time. And he cut himself on something and like it, it made it made the whole, like a lot of the bathroom bloody. It's really nasty. And I don't want to kill the damn thing. So I was told to go buy one of these sonic things um, that it's like a really high pitched frequency that you plug in and it, it irritates them so much that they don't want anything to do with it. So they'll go find somewhere else to live. I'm not sure. I think that would bother the cat. The high pitched frequency. Thing. That's true. And the dogs. Yeah, because they're all pets, right? Yeah, but. We'll read the, okay. the instruction on it. I wish I had my phone. I would do it. If Pimp's at the door trying to unlock it and stuff, <laughs> then we know there's a problem. <laughs> He's like jumping up at the door handle, just constantly trying to open it. All right, guys, so we're going up to Sugarloaf right now. And usually this is a very dangerous road, but it looks like it's it's in great, great, sh great shape right now. There's no ice or snow on it. So, yeah, so we got it. This is awesome. I'll respond later because I am. Yeah, yeah. So once again, guys, this is a very notorious road for for accidents going down because everyone even in their snow tires and chains uh, thinks that they'll have no problem and some sometimes when we have the right cold temperatures outside the right layer of ice uh, it's it's a skating rink no cars can stop themselves going down and you just have accident after accident after accident after accident here's our high school up here big bear high school crazy too because as long as that's been happening on maple you would think that they would put a sign at a the top danger sign and and say like danger icy yeah. road they close it uh, oh they do yeah oh good yeah okay. yeah. Well, that's better than yeah 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 <laughs> yeah that's awful every single day every single snow they should have a sign up there though anyway yeah, at, really at the very so. very top just like you know go at your own you know if if you're, I don't know what it would say. if you're feeling froggy, <laughs> that's what it's to say. If you're feeling froggy, leap. <laughs> yeah, no, really. Some good skateboarders have come out of this little Sugarloaf skate park, you guys. Can't think of any names right now, but also for those of you who don't know, Sean White, this was where. So he's from like Carlsbad or San Diego area, and this is where he would always come to learn how to snowboard and and do all his stuff. Bear Mountain is his his home course, which is super cool. Typically not, but we are going to. It's going to be about 2.30 or 3 o'clock.
Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we're going to drive down to the end of Sugarloaf. Barton, that's the road. Barton. That's the road I was think, try, trying to think of earlier. So beautiful. their world we're just passing through it But now we are on Barton Road, you guys. Barton Lane, I'm sorry. Barton Lane. I wish that this map in this Subaru would show all the street names and stuff like that, but unfortunately, uh, only through my iPhone, through CarPlay. And why I don't do that is because when I hit record, it freezes the, uh, or wait, you know what? Ah, forget it. It freezes the GPS system. try to go through Moonloaf right now. Moonloaf is... Uh, I don't know. I've never had any problems on it. I've gone through some deep, deep, deep snow. When there's no snow, yeah, there's a lot of sharp rocks on there for sure. But Moonloaf, you guys, is a little off-roading area that takes you from Sugarloaf to Moon Ridge in the very back here. It, it, it cuts off a lot of the town, so you don't have to do really any driving. Because just on the other side of these uh, this small hill, when we get to the end here, you're in Moon Ridge. Like right where we were in Upper Moon Ridge. But otherwise, you have to drive all around the whole town to get there. But most cars are not equipped for uh, Moon Loaf. It can be very, very dangerous. All right, so we are here at Inyo. Inyo face. And then we're gonna turn around. Moonloaf is to the left, where it, it, where it starts starts to go downhill. The dry pavement ends shortly after that, and then the dirt road begins. And it's it, it's a little bit scary, but it's fun. All right, guys, I'm really interested to see what Baldwin looks like. What's up, bro? Just doing my aftermath video for the channel. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> thanks, bro. Thanks, man. So it's cracking. What? 
always. But but Sundays I I I typically take off. Um, do you still have your badass little Subaru? Okay. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. I'll be back home in, in about an hour, and then um, and then I can help you out. I can help you shovel out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Um, I don't mind helping you out, bro. Just, uh, do I need to bring my shovel? <laughs> or do you have enough? You got it, man. You got it. Nice to hear from you, Taylor. Thanks. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Say hi to Kip. Say hi to everybody for me, please. Okay, I appreciate that. All right. Bye. It feels good being the one that a lot of people call to help them when they need assistance. So that's awesome. Now we're back on Maple. Sounds great, my friend. snow it's really pretty up here there are higher elevations in Sugarloaf all the streets end up if we turned around and went all the way up Maple there would probably be a decent amount more snow and you know what I was gonna oh man that's right our friends Bill and Michelle wanted to, to see what they're pissed at that. So we're gonna turn right on Barton Road right here, you guys. You guys, I thought I had it still recording. Um, I hit the side button accidentally and it, it stopped it. I went straight instead of turning right there on Baldwin just to go into this little uh, neighborhood called Maple Ridge. It's a really cute kind of newer neighborhood. One of the newest ones in, in Big Bear. Straight ahead, I believe that peak is uh, Sugarloaf Mountain. A lot of people hike up there. But yeah, we're still technically in the Sugarloaf area and we're gonna get back to Baldwin right now. So once we get to the end here, gonna turn off the camera so we're not doing repetitive scenes. But yeah, my bad, you guys. I just drove all the way through Maple Ridge, but we don't have time to turn around and go back again. And then I showed you guys the high school driving up here. That's the high school right there. So. This is your perspective. Now we're back on Maple when we turn left here. So I'm gonna shut this off until we get to Baldwin. Peace out, okay, guys. We're back on, we are on Baldwin now. Are you sure that was all all from the rat? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't find any poop, did you? No. <laughs> no, good. I don't get it. No, well, no, just, uh, I found a couple of droppings. In the bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Through the dog bowl. After you ate all the dogs. You know what? On your phone, can you look something up for me real quick? Then? And he was like obsessive. No, I don't have my phone with me. He, he was obsessively looking, I mean, eating the food or, or pack rack, rat packing it or whatever because once he was done clearing the bowl out, he went for the bag. Wow. 
knew I had seen it half missing one night. Okay, well, let's see here. Um, can you like uh, um, type in like plug in rat? Uh, oh, okay. Um, just so we can read about it. The noises that it sets out. What did you call that? What did you call it? Just say what's the, what's that thing called where you plug in the wall that detours rats uh, or something like that. Now we're on na, na, uh, plug in wall rat trap. Now we are on uh, Highway 38, you guys. If we turn around and go the opposite way, that's one way in and out of Big Bear. If you turn around and go that that other way, you'll be heading down into Mentone and Redlands and Yukaipa. We're going to go down Zaka Road instead of going right into Baldwin at the, at the beginning because there's a little part of Big Red that not a lot of people get to see ever. It's, a, it's an equestrian part that's on the side here. friend Greg who helped me with some editing stuff lives right back here right there so straight ahead you can see some cows and but yeah this is a part of town not a lot of you ever get to see maybe I'm gonna have to roll down your window a little or actually I'll just keep my hand out the window so we're gonna turn left to get to Shea Road but yeah this is uh it's a very, very, very beautiful area. Bunch of uh, stalls right there for the horsies. Big open area. I mean, it's really, 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 really pretty. Imagine living here. I'd have my bedroom facing this for sure. It says they don't work, babe. Really? It says, do sonic rat traps work? The short answer is no. Ultrasonic rope repellents don't work. Some homeowners have noted an immediate effect on first, but over time the rodent probably will persist. I don't want to kill them, dude. That's well, the I think we could get one of those little cages and just put some dog food in there and he'll go in there to grab the food. I mean, he's cramping our style now, though. So. I mean, now that he's injured, for sure he is. Putting blood all over the wall. <laughs> yeah. He is. All right, guys. So that's that for that little part of Big Bear. We are in Big Bear City on the edge of Baldwin. But wait till you guys see how little snow is at the end of Baldwin. It, it's it's going to be shocking. Even over here, there's significantly less snow. But right here, they still have at least a foot, maybe a foot and a half. Probably a foot and a half. It says it leads to your pets nervous and distressed. Okay. Because they say it's not loud, but they can still just... No. I, I, I don't want to have them come into the house more, babe. That's the only place we could put the cage. No, no, no. Babe, I'm, unfortunately, I'm... I'm, no. 
Big Bear Airport is open. There's a plane flying in right now. That has to be such a beautiful view. Oh my gosh. I wish I could fly my drone for this channel, but since I'm, uh, you know, they have so many regulations and you can get in so much trouble and find huge amounts of money for like every little thing you do wrong, like flying over a car. Like if I was just flying way up high across the street, if I flew over Big Bear Boulevard and they think that I actually like um, flew over a car, they can find you huge amounts. Um, also, you need your commercial license um, if you have a YouTube channel because technically, even if you're not making money, you still have a monetized channel. So there's just so many different rules and it's not worth like up to a hundred thousand plus dollars in fines just to do a video, even though it would get insane amounts of views, but it wouldn't be even near. I'd have to have like a hundred billion views to pay those fines. We have a snowplow fight. That's weird. When I looked it up, does it affect dogs? It said it affects cats and dogs and may make them distressed. And then when I put, does it affect cats? It says no. It's like two different answers. Yeah. Go find one of the um, brands and then read what it says on the brand, not just a person's opinion, just to, just to verify it. Because a lot of these reviews are right, but they're people's personal opinions on stuff. No, these are like... I don't know what they are. Please turn left, bro. Please turn left, bro. Nope, he's, of course he's not turned left. Look at how big those plows are. Those are amazing. Dude's way here. All right. Now we are heading into Baldwin, folks. When we get to the other side, I mean, I don't think we'll see any dry patches this time, but it's amazing how significantly less amount of snow they have over here. Every storm, as I said, I've coined this term called uh, the Big Bear Snow Rule. And once again, all that means is that just one side of town at the Big Bear Dam gets significantly more snow. If there's three, four feet at the Big Bear Dam, there might be just a few inches out here. If there's a foot at the Big Bear Dam, there'll be a lot of dry patches at the end of Baldwin Lake over here. part of town though you see a lot of our wild donkeys and hopefully we'll run into some of them today they are so adorable you guys they are so so precious they're so cute looking There's Baldwin Lake way out there. When we come back around the other side, that's when we'll get the best view of Baldwin Lake.
It is. Nice in the car for sure. It's 30 outside. Once again, this map's not, not really gonna help you. It just tells you the current road we're on, which is Shea Road. And then all this white flat area, that is called Baldwin Lake. When we get snowstorms like this, it turns into a lake for probably two to three weeks once it melts. It's so beautiful, you guys. Then we're coming up to a location where um, I haven't made a video yet uh, uh, for a uh, free place to sled, but this would be the perfect conditions. You stay on Shea Road, and then you'll see it no matter what right here on the right-hand side. You can just pull your car right in here and just let your kids go up and down. But I'd stand down here at the bottom to catch them in case they go into the street. Or park your car there so they can slam into the or car. Or park the car so they can <laughs> slam into the car. Yeah. <laughs> It's a great idea, babe. I actually saw somebody once that the mom let the ki the kid go at the top of the hill, and the dad was standing at the bottom, thinking he was going to catch the kid. And when the kid got to the dad, he like literally he, like, took made him a out flip. From under his feet yeah. and flipped. Yeah, so I've seen don't tons. Think you can catch your ton kids tons at the of YouTube of videos like that. They're hilarious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. like fifty pounds going at like fifty miles an hour or more. So. Well, I don't know about fifty. But no? no, maybe thirty. 20? Maybe 20, yeah. <laughs> 50, <laughs> miles an hour. 50, the dad's not gonna have any legs anymore. <laughs> he's not He's not gonna flip. The kid's gonna go right through him. Ah, <laughs> oh, babe, you're so cute. You are so adorable. Okay, here we go. As I said, it turns into a lake. When we drive around this backside on Highway 18, you, you guys will see, see what I'm talking about. It's a humongous lake, but it's it's always dry unless we get massive storms. And then, as I said, then these people out here have lakefront property for a couple weeks out of the whole year. That whole white area, that's all the lake, the lake bed. But look at how little snow they got. It looks like more because where the snow plows plowed, but guys, this isn't that much snow. It looks like they got about five inches of snow out here. Most of these roofs won't have any snow on them. It's just amazing. Where we live is way out that way. See that beautiful cloud on top of the mountain right there? We don't live quite that far, but we live all the way out there. I bet it's really cloudy down the mountain. To the right here, some more equestrian stuff, you guys, for Baldwin. There's actually quite a bit of that out here, too. And look at these kids. Like, oh, here, here's a spot, babe. Oh, that looks like a really good spot. Wow. But it it's is somebody's driveway. Yeah, it, it's it's someone's driveway, so you definitely don't don't want to do that. But that looks like a good sledding location. Oh, yeah. For the grandkids. Mm I said you guys can see the huge discrepancy and look at all this wind blown snow that is so cool looking this is the windiest part of the whole valley out here they get power outages all the time from just random wind but there aren't there's like there's no trees out here there's nothing to block block this wind and the wind just comes whipping across this lake bed Do 
Go, go game. <laughs> Can you grab that out of there? Why? Because it, it, it's 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 hard hard, to hard for me to grab it. Yeah. Okay, guys. I mean, there's there's really very little snow over here. As I said, maybe four inches. Once again, all this wind-blown snow. That's so pretty, babe. Look at all the wind-blown snow right there. All those like waves and stuff like that. That's really, really cool looking. And I knew we wouldn't see a lot of snowmen because most of this snow, you guys, is a very rare type of snow that we don't get often. Like, it's a it's a champagne powder, which is very, very difficult. You can't make a snowman with it because you can't make, you can't, you can't really make a snowball with it. But for skiing, it's the best. By far the best snow to ski in. So this is where we're at. We're on Baldwin Lake Road. Shea Road turns into Baldwin Lake Road. As you can see, there's that lake to the left, which is that big white area. When you see this much snow over here then then you know our side of town got absolutely blasted they might actually so this part might actually have five or six inches maybe but parts of where we drove by definitely probably only had about four inches and it's gonna get less and less the further we get up here until we get to highway 18. look at this isn't this incredible babe how little snow they have I mean, you saw the snow berms by it our house. Even look the same. Yeah, it looks like the we're same in. Area. Yep. But it's just, yeah, it's the same area. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. It is snow in Baldwin Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. Look, see dry patches right there. Didn't expect to see that. This reminds me of when I lived in Utah, how the snow looks in in the high desert with like sage popping out and yeah, this, this, some more dry patches over there. It's crazy. So folks, we are in the technically the least snowiest place in the whole town. But they probably can't move, so that's the issue. This guy's probably, this guy's gonna be turning here, I think. No? We're gonna, we're gonna go right here. Oh, they're gonna actually put them on right here. That's what I was saying, yeah. yeah. It, that's crazy. Now he's backing up. So guys, if we go to the right here, you're gonna enter, go start going down to Lucerne Valley. But we're heading back into Big Bear. Twenty-eight degrees over here. Yeah, guys, look at how little snows on the side of the road here. This is the least snowiest part of our valley, and this is every storm. The Big Bear snow rule in definite effect as usual. Baby, look at this. It's crazy. There's like there's like no snow plow marks or berms, hardly. 
Just these little tiny baby ones. It's amazing to me. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, maybe five or six inches over here total. And people who drive up on, on this backside are probably like, hey, there's not that much snow over here. Yeah, wait till you get to the other side of town. That person pulled over. That was good. It's just, guys, it's it's for your safety to pull over to put your tire chains on. Because a lot of times, people back and you cannot stop. They'll run into you while you're under the car. And then you're, you're not going to be trying to That's all. Got this little sharp turn here, guys. All that clanking sound you can hear, that's the, the snow chains. But look at Baldwin, you guys. This is insane. My hand is completely frozen now. We're, we're eventually going to get splashed up by this guy, probably. Wow, it's so pretty. Guys, this is the whole Big Bear Valley tour, you guys. Plus a little extra. Moon Ridge and Sugar Road. People are making like Tom and cruising. So I'll either leave tonight at five or tomorrow at six a.m. Which I think tomorrow at six a.m. is going to be my better bet because I popped a chain and didn't have this area some time to melt today. Well, we're not supposed to get above freezing, babe. But no Wednesday, right? but the well, the, 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 um, yeah. In the next two weeks, we're, we're only supposed to have one day that will hit thirty-three. Every other day is going to be freezing or below freezing. But with sunny skies like this, snow will melt oh, still. Yeah, it's on this side. It's side of the oh, yeah. folks leaving town right now not many coming in so for our drive that's a good thing because i'm worried about up oh, this big truck with his chains is Ooh, yeah he should stop now he's digging deep i mean he's, he's digging deep like is he serious <laughs> that's not funny babe <laughs> no because he dug like four like four inches into the ground <laughs> unfortunately that's what happens up here and Sadly, he just keeps rolling his tires. So, so you guys see that it's not that deep, and the guy's got a freaking truck that should kill this, plus chains on it, and still got stuck. So keep that in mind, guys. That's. Uh, and that, you don't want it when you're stuck like that. You don't want to keep spinning your tires. You're just gonna. Kind of like, kind of like what I did yesterday to you know, get out of yeah. that spot. <laughs> yeah, I got lucky, you guys. I got lucky. I was not doing what I should have done should have done but i was turning the steering wheel super fast right and left all the way while i was gunning it in reverse yeah no he just had his tires straight and was going yeah like just literally digging into the ground okay guys so we're about to enter big bear city uh all of these cars are, are so bummed because this guy's going like 10 miles an hour, but that's okay. You guys go at the pace that makes you feel comfortable. If you're going too slow though, and you're holding up traffic, then just please, please 
pull over and let other people go past you. Um, it helps our traffic flow, but a lot of people are like, oh no, I'm not gonna let them by. And you don't wanna take that attitude in these conditions. You, we wanna help each other out. Just because you're not able to drive a certain speed doesn't mean that, that others can't. patches right here see this guys so after we pass this big bear city sign uh, the snow will start to grow and grow the further we go wait till you see fawn skin baby they have a ton of snow Slowly but surely, we're getting more snow. As I always tell you guys, if you don't want to be in the deep snow and all you want to do is just come skiing, then try to get an Airbnb as close to Baldwin as you can so you, you won't have to dig out of a snowstorm. But if you want to be in all the snow, try and stay in between Boulder Bay and the Big Bear Dam. That's where you'll get the most snow up here. Unless you go to Upper Moon Ridge, then that's the most snow in the whole area. So it looks like R2 conditions. You have to have chains if you don't have all wheel drive and snow tires. If you have all-wheel drive and regular tires or even off-road tires or winter tires, you still need tire chains. You need snow-specific tires with your all-wheel drive to be driving in these conditions or they will not let you up. I'm driving with the Arctic Claw tires. As I said, I've, I've never used tire chains up here. I, I never have either. I only did it that day because they forced me to. I don't really think that it's necessary. Well, no, everybody, everybody, it's necessary for you. Yeah, for, for, for us. Not that we're better or this or that. It's just, uh, or maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. We're better drivers in, this, in these conditions, conditions yeah. yes. But if you don't want to take risks, then put those chains on because it's not it's not worth getting stuck. It's, it's a pain in the butt to put on tire chains when you didn't want to have to put them on. When you want to put them on, you put them on where you want to put them on. Um, basically, like when they pull you over or when you come up to the chain checkpoints and stuff, usually it's a pretty good little area to put your tire chains on. It's not like on a, on a slope or like something like that. So you want to make sure you have your tire chains, you guys. Um, but as I said, I'm, I've, I've never used them up here. 
one time, I think back in like 2003 or 2004, I did use them up here because I bought them and I just really wanted to just see how they work. And I, th I think I think they worked fine because I'm, st I'm still still here and I didn't have an accident. This is my favorite neighborhood in this whole whole town, you guys, right here, because they're sitting on this big empty prairie that has a beautiful view of all these mountains on the other side. The street's called Bear Loop, but I always forget the name of the neighborhood, so I'm gonna try and see if it's not covered in snow right now so we can see. North Shore East. Huh, I don't know why I would forget that because we're driving on North Shore. I like the homes in that neighborhood. All right guys, so we are coming up to Stanfield Cutoff and after Stanfield Cutoff, we're heading straight to go into the Fonskin area. Babe, can you see on the maps if there's traffic by the Big Bear Dam? Two hours. Let's see here. I'm gonna grab the maps here. Just move across. The, no, like slide it across. Like this? Yeah. Do you see any traffic over there? There's, there's no one behind us here. I see it by the. Okay. By where? So there's a little bit by the mountain brewery, and then it looks yellow by the village pepper here. Yeah, yeah. I need to go over here. What's this? There's fun skin. No, but what's road closed? Okay, guys, we're not going to be able to actually do that because the, the road's closed over there. Unfortunately, so we're going to have to drive as far as we can. I'm glad we looked, babe. Because from from Fonskin to the dam, the road's closed. And to think that I drove that whole thing yesterday in the deep snow without it being touched, it was great. Except for when I got stuck, that, that kind of sucked. All right guys, one of the most incredible views in town is this lake view. Look at the lake, It's a lot of it's frozen with a bunch of fresh snow on it, that's so pretty. Yeah, let me uh, see if we can do it. Unbelievable, you guys. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Okie dokie, artichokey. So we're starting to hit more snow now. As you guys can see, our railings are inundated here. But the further we go to the right, the more snow we will come into. So we're going to take Big Bear Boulevard as far down as we can go and then turn around. And then we'll be done. Thanks, baby. And it looks like Highway 330 is closed too, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, only for our, our drive. I want everyone to be able to get up here, but for this drive, this is, it's nice that the roads are closed just so I can get everyone a nice view of this place before you come up here. I bet they have like avalanches and stuff, babe, or something. 
one of the most beautiful views of Snow Summit. It is so pretty. So we're one of our two grocery stores, they're Stater Brothers, and then right across the street, we've got Vaughn's right here. I doubt it. I doubt it. It looked like it was closed. I didn't click it to read it. Let's make sure. So guys, we're gonna cut off a bunch of this. We're not gonna take the boulevard here. We're gonna turn right here and take some of the back streets again to avoid this traffic. I know a lot of people probably wanna see what the boulevard looks like, but we'll, we'll get to it on the way back. There's an airport shuttle up here. I never knew that. Look, we, we have our own airport shuttle. And here we go. You guys see there'll hardly be any cars on this journey. Now the sun is really heating up the car. <laughs> it's 30 degrees. And we're not even near the snowiest part of town yet. And there's already so much more snow than you guys just saw in Baldwin. In, in this little neighborhood. On both sides of the road. Those old people must have pulled their car out of a garage because it was like dry and <laughs> yeah, yeah, completely yeah. no snow on it yeah, at all. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what happened. It is Sunday, bro. Just give me a little while and I got you covered, okay? I'm doing the aftermath video. back to like five o'clock.
Matt, we'll be home in a couple hours and then yeah, that rat situation is freaking, I feel bad for it, but it cut itself on something and there's blood all over the bathroom. I'll hit you up when I get home. As you can imagine, my wife is super, super grossed out. I was just wondering if you had any ideas. And that sounds good. Guys, there's so many help, helpful people up here. My friend Matt, who's our neighbor, was in the, the, the rodent infestation and like other businesses. And so I just wanted to get his ideas. This park is called Meadow Park. We've got basketball courts, tennis courts, baseball fields, um, dog parks. Look at these houses though, right across from Meadow Park. It's so pretty. This is this park is right on the lake, you guys. I had a friend who used to come and visit up here and stay in that place on the left there. Here's the baseball field. Wow, this is so pretty. And then tomorrow before the storm, or worst case, after the storm, we're gonna do a walk down on the lake. So I'm gonna have to dress in all my like skiing equipment because the snow is gonna be deep. Now we're on Knight Avenue, K-N-I-G-H-T. Look at this dog, babe. <laughs> hey doggy. Going for, for a snow cruise. Going for a snooze. <laughs> Gust the winds, I'm, I'm telling you, are, are gonna make these trees snow so beautifully. They look like Christmas trees, some of them, the ones, the ones that are fully covered. So Knight Avenue, you guys, is the furthest down you can go to do that shortcut. And Knight, you'll see Taco Bell. So when you see Taco Bell, turn left and you can avoid all this traffic. I can't even see anything coming this way. I think we're gonna be good with traffic today, hopefully down to the Big Bear Dam. Now, when we get down there, if we get that far without any traffic, then we'll see if that font skin side's open and then we'll take that, that part of the drive and then we'll shut off the video right after that. But of course, you guys know we have to go through the village for this. Like, I can't not go th through our village for this. It's still 30 degrees out here. Looks like we have some clouds rolling in over, over the mountain right there. Babe, there's hardly anyone coming this way. I'm loving this. I am loving it. There's our Chinese restaurant, Dynasty. The owner's a super cool dude. Big Bear Smoke and Vape 2. That's one of my favorite people in the whole town and they have great, great stuff in there. Not just, at the at their main store, Big Bear Smoke and Vape 1 in Big Bear City, it's not just smoke and vape stuff. They have, you know, clothing, little local trinkets and stuff, just a whole bunch of cool stuff. And I always suggest that you guys shop there because he's, he's such a good dude. His name's Sahil, he's the owner. He's a really, really, really good guy. village is gonna be beautiful. Bus stop seems like a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh no, it's just snow piled on top of the thing with like a head. <laughs> All right, 
I love this guys. We're gonna be at the front of the left turn line, which means that we're gonna have a beautiful view of the village if we're lucky. If, if, not, if none of these cars turn right here, then it's gonna be great. If you guys are still watching, please like, subscribe. I work really hard. Um, it would really help me out. I, I appreciate it. No matter what, I'll still do these videos for you guys because I love doing it. It's a passion of mine. Um, but that would really help help your brother here out. Thank you guys. Please don't be turning right, anybody. That so we're gonna be going ahead of the Jeep, which is good. All right, guys, we are entering the village. Take it nice and slow, of course. I roll up my window because we're gonna get nailed. Is passing us. I'm telling you what, though, our snowplow people in this town do a terrific job, you guys. Keep up the good work, you guys. This looks like it's going off a bit. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right. Go ahead. There's that little dude. <laughs> Parents got to keep holding his hand or else he'll get lost in the snow piles. There's Jack in the snow. So for the people that were asking about the cave, hopefully they're watching, it's now the Village Sports Bar. Yes, really a huge bummer. And I only say that not to, you know, denigrate anyone's business, but that was a really cool venue and a lot of really good bands that I liked would play there. Like some of my favorite punk bands and stuff would, they play there, and so it's really sad that it's not there anymore. It shut down like a year and a half ago, and then it got a little infusion of cash, and it reopened, but they couldn't maintain. They plowed out part of the Elks Lodge. Oh, no, they didn't. The Elks Lodge parking lot is... And I feel sorry for my... My little older friends who like to go to the Elks all the time because they did nothing to that parking lot. It still has three plus feet of snow in it. That's awesome, that's awesome. Look, look at how big that shovel is, you guys. That thing is huge. You don't want to get in the way of that thing. This is the most expensive gas station in town, but it's the best gas in town, but it's the most expensive. 
A lot of you were telling me you noticed it's like a buck more per gallon at this gas station than most of the other ones in town. We've got, I think, five gas stations, six gas stations in town. I think we have, it's Chevron, Valero, 76, 7-Eleven, AM, PM's gas station, which is Arco. And then we have Moonridge Fuel and then another little independent place too. So there's seven gas stations up here. Let's make like a tree and leaf. All right, guys, this is gonna be a splendid drive. Usually in these conditions, guys, there'd be parked like bumper to bumper cars from here all the way to the dam almost, coming our, coming the other direction. So I'm assuming a lot of these are locals. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, 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 totally. Okay, guys, here's a place you can pay to go sledding. Some people are. Guys, it's so dead right now. This would be, oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. You wouldn't have to deal with all, all, all the people, all the traffic. This would be like the best time ever. Is the roller coaster open too? Oh, this is great, guys. This is beautiful. So now we're gonna start entering yeah. or closing in on the snowiest part of the Big Bear Valley. Save the best for last. Let's see if Aztec is open because on the way home we'll oh wait, I don't have my wallet. Wait, what do you have? I'm such a tease. I know totally, I'm like, such a tease. I am I such did, a tease. My face lit up so bright. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> it is open though. I should have just said it's closed, babe, just so you, you, you wouldn't have felt as bad. A boy named Taylor. No. Our daughter's name is Taylor. And my friend up here, his his name is Taylor. So we're not going to be recording coming back because this video is already super long, but I want you guys to really pay attention to how it looks like. And the guy 
I was so irritated that I was calling it Tacos Azteca that he was like really rude to me and he's like, it's Azteca Grill. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> I <rename> it. <laughs> that's like calling you by your middle name. Is this uh, Marie Rachel? <laughs> no, it's Rachel Marie. <laughs> That's basically what he did to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're passing uh, the entrance to the Boulder Bay neighborhood. And I am just blown away that there's no traffic. The roads are definitely closed still. Highway 18 on the backside is open, though. So if you guys want to make that trek around the mountain range, feel free. We'll see you in about a day. Look at how beautiful Boulder Bay looks. And look, it's gonna be cloudy and foggy at the Big Bear Dam, it's gonna be awesome. Look at how much snow is over here, you guys. And it's just gonna get a little bit deeper the further we go this direction. Look at that, that is so impressive. I wanna rent one of those Airbnbs right there, but they're like 1500 a night. snow over here dude there's so much snow i don't even know what to do if we jumped in this we'd sink we'd completely disappear so yeah guys once we make our u-turn at the big bear dam and show you guys where i got stuck if we can even make it to the dam uh, that's where we're gonna shut off the video so I can start patching these videos together so it won't take that long for us to upload it. Good luck, man. Oh, it's, look. Ooh, it says completely road, closed. it's completely closed, guys. So look. Look at that. I'm just gonna zoom in real quick. Road closed. Wow. And I was gonna take that journey yesterday. And this is over where um, Cove is, which I know one of you guys was going to be staying up on Cove, so. Wow, guys, this is crazy. I have never seen that happen here before. I'll bet it was an avalanche. Yeah, they, they said there was an avalanche, so. <laughs> Big Bear and avalanche. That just doesn't seem right. All right, guys. Well, once we pass Boulder Bay, I'll shut it off because uh, I want to try and get some good views of Boulder Bay for you guys since we're on this side and I can stick my hand out the window. This is just epic, babe. Look at all the snow. It's so beautiful. It's incredible. Loving the set with the snow. That's my favorite part of when it snows. When it snows, when it snows, when it snows. The part where you start feeling stuck. But... And now I'm feeling stuck again because if I want to leave the mountain, I have to go down to freaking like... The back 18. Yeah. And there's a lot of traffic going down that way right now. A lot. So I'm probably going to wait. And I bet you a lot of people drove all the way out here. Oh, to, I'm sure of to it. To see that it was closed. Well, that's why we tell you guys to check Caltrans because Caltrans will tell you and then you don't have to make unnecessary trips in the wrong direction. Or what I just, just realized, if you have your iPhone, just kind of zoom it in on the maps for the Big Bear area and it'll show you. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. Exactly where it's at. Wow, look at this. There's no one behind this, guys, so I'm just gonna go really slow through here. Look at that, baby. I mean, where are we? Is this really Big Bear? Here's the little street to these freaking humongous mansions back here that I wish that we, wish that we could afford them. Just to stay for one or, one or two nights. One.
day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It's a really cool channel and you guys aren't going to want to miss all the fun stuff that we have coming up. <laughs> she said it, folks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it a lot. Hope you enjoyed this beautiful drive. Haven't seen Big Bear this snowy in ever since I've lived here. So take care. Love you guys a lot. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe for us. That would help us out. Peace out.